Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello, I have filmed this so many times. In today's video, I am going to be talking about how you can find alternative vibey style clothing for very affordable. There's, there is a whole TikTok like cult around alternative and the alt side of TikTok, whatever. But along with that, there's like this whole clothing style that just got unlocked that people are like, obsessed with and I'm gonna kind of put what this clothing style includes and what people love wearing literally I've seen so many people begin to start have this begin to start having this style and loving this style of clothing and it's definitely became a trend and so I thought I would share where you can get this clothing for super cheap I love it though because most of these items that people are styling and finding and calling trendy now are pieces that you could so very easily find at a thrift store as they look like grandpa clothing but now people are making them stylish and i love the idea of that here are a couple websites most of these are ethical and sustainable some of these are fast fashion but yeah here are other websites to find these sort of items if you don't necessarily like thrifting here are ways to shop alt or alternative indie on a budget let's get started Okay, so number one, the most obvious way is thrifting. The biggest hacks I have if you are just getting started with thrifting or wanting to find specific stuff while thrifting is just to number one, experiment with different thrift stores because for the longest time I only shopped at Goodwill and I realized they're definitely more of a price than many of the other thrift stores and also a couple other thrift stores that I hadn't been to yet were like family owned or church owned and just went to very good causes. So once I started experimenting, I found definitely totally different stuff and I supported other causes while thrifting. So it was just a good experience to try other thrift stores and to give your money to different places that support good causes. So try out different thrift stores is a good tip. Also number two is go to different sections of the thrift store. So I, before would just stay in my tiny little women's section or whatever but once I started going out throughout the store I realized in the men's section they have so much better like sweatshirts and oversized t-shirts graphic tees that whole stuff Levi jeans I found so many low-waisted Levi jeans in the men's section as well so definitely look at that or Argyle print stuff sweater vests they have all those type of stuff in the men's section at the thrift store love that so that is a little tip for thrifting. Number two, if you don't like thrifting in person, like I mentioned, um, shopgoodwill.com online is another great option. Here you can find really great stuff, again, for super affordable. They have buy it now stuff or they have like bidding and auctions available. They also have designer like nice stuff like Prada bags and stuff that's up for auction and it's pretty affordable for what you consider like what Prada normally costs and it's all authentic. They will give a certificate and say in the description that like this is authenticated by professionals and it will say this like it's been looked over whatever so you know you're getting a real bag instead of like where if you're thrifting in person you might not know if it's real or fake if that makes sense okay another good option is ebay and this is great for lower price designer bags like coach and juicy couture they have tons of these on the ebay website and the cutest handbags and mini bags shoulder bags because that's like a huge trend right now is like the shoulder bag thing and they have a ton of those on the ebay website which i love you're also able to find like track suits and that type of stuff from juicy um that probably would be pretty expensive on depop you're able to find them at a good price on ebay the last sustainable option i have at the moment is depop and i put depop last for a reason because i do think personally it's kind of expensive for no reason like the whole rare brandy thing i think is ridiculous because most of the stuff i can easily find on the Brandy Melville website, it's not rare at all, but whatever. I think some of the stuff can be very good, especially if you like the whole alternative thing. There's definitely people that are selling things at good prices, and it is good for pieces that are no longer available at stores, um, vintage goods. Depop is the place. It is the most expensive option out of all of them that I mentioned, but it is good as a last resort if you're really looking for something specific that stores don't have anymore okay now we're gonna move into some not sustainable ethical ways to buy clothing just because these are more for specific items but i'm very sorry that these are more fast fashion um this was just all i could come up with for these items okay so we have walmart as number one and that is for 
uh, these George relaxed jeans. I've seen these all again all over TikTok. People mention these. They are ten dollars, which is so cheap and affordable. And they come in two different washes. And again, they are like men's jeans, but they look like good quality. And a good life hack if they don't fit your waist is to buy a pack of jean buttons from Walmart. It's like three to five dollars, and they come with like six. And you can just pin them in your jeans put um, the top on them and it will just adjust your jeans so you can button them tighter to fit your waist better since they are, like I mentioned, men's jeans. Walmart also has a lot of random stuff from different sellers. So they have a lot of like Betty Boop stuff, which I think is really cute. And it's definitely, definitely coming back with one of those, it's definitely a vintage brand, yeah, that's coming back. And um, they have a lot of stuff there. So that is another another option. I feel like Walmart always has like secret goods that people are like going crazy over on TikTok. So, okay, another fast fashion, not sustainable option. I don't think, I don't think they're sustainable is Amazon. They have these tennis skirts and they're like $15 because tennis skirts have been like a huge thing right now. I don't even know if tennis skirt is the right word for it, but these like ruffle mini skirts, school girl skirts, I guess is a better word for it. And they're $15 on Amazon. They come in so many different colors. Um, and sizes, which is really great. And so that is another option if you're kind of going for this schoolgirl preppy look. Okay, the last thing I have that's also not sustainable. I actually, I don't know if this store is ethical or not. I don't know if they're more fast fashion, but Cabela's, I went there in person. I mean, my sister found a lot of the, I feel like I'm gonna say this wrong, the Bass Pro Shop hats, and they were like, $2.99 or $3.99 which is so cheap because literally like so many influencers have been wearing this hat and I thought it was like gonna be like 30 or 40 bucks and it's three dollars and you can get it on the Cabela's website and they have all the different colors different styles of it and it's literally four bucks so cheap and I thought that was just a little quick hack to get something cute for cheap okay so I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me sharing with you where to get this alternative style clothing um, for pretty good price, for pretty affordable. And if you guys want more videos on how to shop sustainable on a budget, I will definitely make more of those videos because I love thrifting and finding discounts. And so if I can help you guys shop for cheaper, that's also secondhand stopping fast fashion, I will definitely make more videos like this to help. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching um, and I will see you guys next time.